get into a frog position. You can go, you've got a very high 45, you can go as low as you want. Raise your arms off the floor, deep breath in as you breathe out, bring yourself to a chest raised position, extend your legs away, you go for hundreds. Squeeze your legs, point your feet, feet in, turn out. Don't do anything yet. The next one is going to be a roll up. So last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower yourself down, ready for roll up. up. So extend your legs away. Extend your legs away, feet, legs together, arms all bent. Away you go, you're going to do three. Do a cheating version if you want to, okay? No bending the knees. Try to bend in the knees. Next one's going to be a roll over. Don't do anything yet. Make that one you roll up you're doing, the last one, and then lower down. Roll over, arms down by the side, bring your legs into a frog position, extend them up. Drop them down slightly from perpendicular, you're going to do a roll over, you're going to use momentum to get up there, away you go. Now lower the legs down, parallel to the floor. Open your legs as wide as you can, or shoulder width apart, flex the feet back. Keep them that distance as you slowly lower down. Brace your legs back together, and then take it up and over with your legs together. So, open your legs, lower down, keep your legs that far apart, and then go up with your legs that far apart, and then brace your legs together, slowly lower the spine down, lower the legs down, arms away from the body, ready for one leg circles. Palms up, extend both legs away, we'll start with the right leg, the left leg in the left corner of the mat, left that foot back. Reach the right leg up into the ceiling, the feet pointed. You're going to do three one way, three the other way, where you go, and then change legs. Stretch as big a circle as you can. Keep the head still, keep the upper back still. The left heel is just gently pushing down into the ground. Three one way, three the other, and then swap over legs. Just to give you the heads up, the next movement is rolling back like a ball. You can get whatever shape, particular shape you want to get into. So, just slow it down a bit. Then. Roll yourself up into seated to the edge of the mat. Whatever particular position of rolling back like a ball you want to get into, and you're just going to do three. Away you go, try not to let your feet land, keep the thighs close into the chest, forehead down to the knees, try and maintain that tight shape, shape you've got. Next one is one leg stretch, single leg stretch, so roll yourself back down onto the floor, give your knees a hug, bring yourself to a chest raised position, and alternate. Elbows nice and wide, bring it tight into your chest and reach and lengthen that leg away. The next move we're going to go to is double leg stretch. In the frog position, now lay yourself down, but in the legs in the frog position. Bring yourself to a chest raised position, the arms are down by your side, palms into the body, off the floor about six inches. We're doing three. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, extend the legs away, squeeze your arms into the side of the body. Hold that for a full exhale. We're only doing two, I apologise. Double leg stretch. Spine stretches next. Sit yourselves up. Shift yourself back towards the mat. Open your legs so they're just wider than the mat. <coughs> Flex your feet back. Fingertips in between your thighs. Sit tall. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, slide the hands past your heels as you knock the chin to your chest. You're trying to get the head down between your knees onto the floor. At the last part of that breath out, can you just sink your hands down into it for three, two, one, and reach back the spine and sit tall. You're just going to do one more. Make sure you are sitting tall. Deep breath in as you breathe out. Nod the chin, slide the hands out. At the end of that exhale, can you slide the hands out a little bit more for three, two, one. Restack the spine, rock it with open legs. Bring yourself to the edge of the mat. Feet together, knees apart, hands on the outside of the calves of the ankles. 
Extend one leg away, extend the other leg away and balance in position. Now we are actually going to try and do the roll down. Put your legs a little bit wider. So you're going to roll back like a ball, hopefully pause, come back up and get your balance. Run in two. Give you the heads up, corkscrew is next. I'll let you do whatever variety of corkscrew you want to do. So just do two open leg rockers, lay yourself down. In your own time, away you go. Whichever version you're going to do. This proper version is to roll up, you roll it down on one side of the spine, go over to the other side of the spine and raise up on the other back side of the spine. And then go down that same side as you just roll it up on and go up the other side. And that's it, sore as neck, bring yourself up to seated. Open your legs nice and wide. If you need to sit on a block, sit on a block. Arms out to the side, palms up. Take your hands further behind your shoulders. Or where you go with the sword, you rotate and flex forward. Forehead down to the knee, the other little finger up towards the ceiling, and you're looking towards your armpits, three little swords with a little finger. Come back up, rotate around. Keep the spine tall. Rotate around to the opposite side. Little finger to little toe. Forehead down to the knee. Three little saw leg movements. The arm, the head is looking towards the eyes, or looking towards the armpit. Just carry on a moment. The next movement that we're going to go on to is swan dive. So out in your head, what particular version of swan dive you are going to do? And make that the last one. Come out of it, lay yourself down, get yourself in position, and then the swan dive. Just to give you the heads up, at the swan dive, it's one legged kick. So whichever version of swan dive you are doing, away you go. I'll just tell you when to pause. One legged kick and tell you next. Away you go. Go make two challenges for yourself. And then lower yourself down into a sphinx type position, ready for one legged kick. Now, if you want to do this lying down to make a turn on the lower back, you can do. Legs are about hip socket distance apart. Reach your legs away behind your stomach so there's no more away as your feet, knees, and thighs come off the ground. Now, keep your thighs off the ground. If you're going to do that's it. And away you go, alternate kicking yourself in the bum. Reach the leg away. That's one legged kick. Now we're going to lower ourselves down to double leg kick. So hands behind the back, either hold on or have your hands close together, bend the knees up to the ceiling. We're only going to do one of these. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, lift the head and heart, kick the legs away, slide the shoulders down, the hands down the back, roll the shoulders back. Now can you lift the hands up as high as you can, kick the legs away, kick the legs away. And then slowly lower down, turn yourself around, roll over, it's neck pull next. So it's the one bit like an old fashioned sit up. Yeah? So lay yourself down on your back. Interlock the fingers behind your head. Your legs are straight together. We're just going to do one. That's all we're going to do. The next one after this is easy. <coughs> Brace the legs together. Neck pull. Keep the hands on the head as you sit up. Away you go. Pull the elbows back. Get your forehead down to the knees. It's okay. So what you've got to do is for yourself, if you want to teach, you to think of what can you do yeah, to alternate it, to modify it. Yes, yeah. definitely. Super. In that position, just roll yourself down, ready for scissors. So take yourself up into the rollover position. Hands on the pelvis. Away you go with scissors. Keep the legs straight as you possibly straight as you possibly can. Scissors. Scissors. Straight legs. Oh. That's it. And reach those legs away. Test your balance. Now take that into bicycle as you kick yourself in the bum. And then move the leg. That's it, lovely. So nice kicking on the bums. Try and keep the pelvis as still as you can. Now, tie up to you. Shoulder bridges next. Whether you want to do spine curls. But don't forget, if you do spine curls, you've got to slide the leg away. Away you go. Move into shoulder bridge or lower down and do spine curls. Whichever version you want to do. Use your arms to assist. And then slide one leg away. 
<coughs> Delia, stay up, slide the leg away. We'll do a knee fall. We'll just do a knee fall, that's it. And then the other leg. Next move we're going to go on to is spine twist. So roll yourself up, seat yourself up. Legs together, arms out to the side. Flex your feet back, brace your legs together. And away you go, alternate spine twists. Keep the arms back, so trying to keep control of the shoulders. The shoulder blade stability plays a part. So don't allow that arm to come forward. You lock your shoulder blades in, in position for spine twists. Just keep on all through. Keep the spine as tall as you can. Or you might need to keep the legs together. Flex the feet back. Make sure it's the spine twisting and you're not letting your legs slide over each other. Brilliant. Make that the last one. Ready for jackknife. So slowly take yourself down. <coughs> and then take yourself to the roll over type position. Ready for jackknife. So hands on the pelvis to start with, then lower the hands down so it's the arms that are keeping you in place. Super. Straighten your legs up to about 70 degrees. From there, squeeze your bum, use your hamstrings, you're trying to get your feet up towards the ceiling, and then lower the legs back down to 70 degrees and do one more. Feet up to the ceiling, and then slowly lower the spine down. Ready for side kick. Side kick lying. So lie on your side. Your head position can be whatever position you feel most balanced in. So if you want to lie down on the arm or have your head there like that, it's up to you. Your pipe, you're slightly piped, so the feet are towards the front of the mat. We're only going to do one side. Lift the top leg up so it's level with the ground. Kick forward and then kick back a little bit, and then kick forward a lot more, and then kick back a lot more. And now, kick back as far as you can, bring it back to neutral and then kick back even further. Side kick, we're not going to do both sides. Roll yourself over onto your back and ready for teasers. Now sit yourself up. You okay with the pace? Nice and fast? <coughs> Super. However you want to get into teasers, I'll let you do your version of teasers rather than talk it through the way you go. Could you again, okay, because I do it a different way. So whatever way you want to get into teasers, how you want to do it. Ooh, but you're doing three of them. Where you going? Oh, Crumbs is very impressed. <laughs> Sounds surprised there. Oh, yeah. you <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Sit yourself up, ready for hip twist. It's the one with the arms back there. That one. Yeah. Lift them up. So, legs together. Feet pointed. Arms back, roll the shoulders back, push the chest up. You're just going to do one each way. Lift the legs as high as you can together. Take them around in one big circle one way, one big circle the other way. And then we're going on to spin lower down. That's all we're doing. Then roll over like the swimmers. Don't do anything just yet. Your feet are about hip socket distance apart. Or if you want to do them together, that's up to you. Your arms are out in front. Your hands are just slightly wider than your shoulders. Now reach everything away. Deep breath in, as you breathe out, lift everything up. Don't worry about your breath now. Reach away and do your swimmers. Away you go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Leg pull front, slowly lower down. Get yourself into a four-point kneeling tabletop position. From there, extend one leg away, extend the other leg away. Reach one leg up towards the ceiling, making sure you don't dip in the middle, keep the leg straight, and then lower down. And then the other leg, send it up, and lower down. Bring the legs in, super, leg pull, back. Okay, do not come up, okay, legs together, feet pointed, deep breath in, roll the shoulders back. As you breathe out, lift the pelvis up. Don't worry about your breath now, just breathe. As you pull to one leg up as high as you can without dipping the middle, and then the other leg. And then do the other leg again. And then the other leg. Ready for side kick kneeling. We're just going to do one side again. Lift the leg up, 
in your own time. You kick into the front, bring the leg back, you're going to kick back. And do that three times. Lower yourself down, ready for side bend. So stay on the same side. We're just going to do one side, we're not going to do both sides. And you're just going to do two of these. Deep breath in. Whichever version you're doing, there's a different version. As you breathe out, lift yourself up. Just has to be a basic. You haven't got to do the uh, elephant one, the uh, thread the needle one. Side bend. This will be an interesting one. Boomerang next. So sit yourselves up, cross one leg over. So think what it is. And away you go. Roll yourself back. Take yourself into a rollover position. In the rollover position, cross your legs over. Lower down, take yourself to a teaser position. Arms behind the back. Spine stretch forward as you lower the legs. Put the palms up as high as you can. Spine stretch forward. And then you do it one more time. Take it to a rollover. In the rollover position, you cross the legs over. We're going to go over position. That's all right, yeah. Let's cross the legs over. And then lower yourself down. Put yourself in a teaser position. Then bring your arms behind your back. Chin to chest, spine stretch forward. Also, you're going to go back there. Go over there. Take it forward. And then butterfly the legs. That's it. And then butterfly stroke up and over and stretch. The seal next. <laughs> Ready? Clap your feet two times, roll back, come back up, clap your feet again. Get your balance, clap your feet, and do that one more time. Ready for crab. <laughs> Cross your legs. Make sure you've got enough space there so when you come forward you're gonna land on the top uh, sorry you're gonna land on the forehead and then roll so you're not trying to land the top of the head you roll your forehead away you go so you come up and over roll forward onto your forehead and then onto the top of the head and then go over the ankles as you take it back into the rollover position cross the legs over in the rollover position cross the legs over Roll over onto your front, ready for rocking. Lie on your front. Can you grab hold of your feet with your hands? That's going to be the first challenge. Don't do anything yet. I'm not sure yet. Grab hold of your feet if you can. If that's challenging enough, just stay there. Yeah. If not, push your feet into your hands so you lift your knees. Push your feet into your hands, lift up, roll the shoulders back. Now, can you rock in that position? As you push your feet into your hands, lift up and try your best to rock. Just try and rock in that. It doesn't matter if it's not your dog, that's how I started. Try and lift the thighs up. And lower yourself down, roll over onto your back. Nearly there. Control balance. <coughs> So roll over onto your back, you're going to go into a roll over position. Take it up, take it over. Lower the legs down as low down as you can get your legs and swing your arms down around and grab hold of both your feet to start with. That's your first challenge. Can you grab hold of both hands on one foot? With a straight leg, reach the free foot up towards as close to the ceiling. You're trying to challenge your balance, hence the name. And then lower that leg back down and swap over. Grab hold of both hands with that leg and extend the other leg up into the air. And then lower the leg down and put your arms back by, by your side and slowly lower your spine down. You might want to do the next one, the very last one now. Push up off the mat, maybe to the back there. So move to the back. <coughs> and we're going to do three of these. Very last one. So you're going to do a roll down. You're going to walk out. Whether you want to do this on the mat or off the mat, do a roll down and then walk the hands out and do your version of whatever push up you want to do. Then walk the hands back in and restack the spine. And you're going to do one more we'll do. 